There's no putting it off any longer. It's time for these three plucky entrepreneurs to face the music and our customers' feedback. David, hello. 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 Hayley. Hiya. Mark. Hello, Lucy. Lovely to see you all today. Are you ready for some home truths? Yes. In here, I've got lots of footage from our reviews all about your products. Mm -hmm. Who's feeling nervous? A little bit. Come on, let's sit down. <laughs> OK. Our next entrepreneur is Mark Haverly of Leamington Spa. Mark and colleague Daryl are graphic designers by day, but by night they're inventors of the twisty, a torch with a twist. The truth of the matter is, Daryl, that I came in and said, I've had this great idea. <laughs> yeah. You and put your eyes to the ceiling and went, not uh, another one. And, uh, well, he says, I've been thinking. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's <laughs> lethal, isn't it? And it was thanks to a nighttime stroll that got Mark thinking. I was walking Jimmy, my dog, uh, and it was a winter's evening. It was uh, really cold outside and really dark. I had a torch and uh, I had Jimmy on his lead, and then my phone rang. I knew I needed to take the call and started juggling between phone, lead and torch. Um, scrambled to answer the phone and afterwards I thought, is there a better way to do this? However, it took a bit of persuading for Daryl to see the light. Initially, when he mentioned it, I was like, well, OK, it's a torch. Yes, I can see that. We, I have one on my phone. There's, there's, you know, I couldn't see an immediate pressing issue. But, of course, the more you think about it and the more you're aware of it, the more you actually realise, oh, yeah, actually, I could have done with one of those. Finally convinced, Mark and Daryl set to work. But little did they realise the long road ahead. We had an original prototype, which was a bike light that we dismantled and attached to uh, a piece of elastic. That didn't survive the... Vigorous testing <laughs> process. <laughs> yeah. After the bike light prototype, we decided to get a 3D printed version. It proved that we could put electronics in and have a twisted movement uh, and also an elasticated strap. The next step was essentially to take the principal idea and actually add some sort of design aesthetic to it so that it was more visually appealing as a product. This is where we were sort of looking at the sort of the different colour combinations. We say we had the sort of the original round version, we wanted to kind of make the shape a little bit more interesting, especially if we were sort of going to be appealing to sort of a wide audience. We have the correct design, uh, we're happy with it. It falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> that one was in quality control. Beautiful. At this stage, we realised that the S was the wrong way round. So that's a letter S, and that's a backwards letter S. All the drawings, all the CAD drawings, had actually been produced in reverse. A rookie error, but at least we hadn't gone to manufacturing at this stage. And that wasn't the only setback along the way. We talked to a retailer, uh, and they were very interested and said, can you supply some? And we said no. <laughs> we can't. Uh, we can't. Um, uh, OK, uh, so when can you send one down? Well, we're not sure. Uh, and, and when you put the phone down after a conversation like that, you take a deep breath and think, mm, we're not as clever as we thought we are. <laughs> Finally, Mark and Daryl settled on a finished design and production was able to start. Here is the finished twisty. It's really simple to use. You just attach it to your wrist via the snap band. It has three modes, front and back, uh, for uh, both way light, front only, and a warning flash. It's the finished version now. I promise <laughs> Daryl and everybody else I know, this is the one. We've had 2,000 manufactured. It's our first production run, and we have zero sales at the moment because we haven't launched. We're just about to launch, aren't we? Yeah, we're just sort of looking at ways to sort of basically get it out there, uh, get people talking about it. And while it's handy to have a colleague help you through the hard times, Mark and Daryl had plenty of support from closer to home. My wife has been amazing. She's been really proactive and, and really wants the, the product to work. She can see the value in it. Uh, and and uh, she's really supported me 100%, and that's why we've got to the end of this process. It really does help because, like you say, when you get those moments where you think, oh, yeah, this is getting tough, it's, it's like, yeah, but, you know, just keep going. It's those little words of, of encouragement when you really need it most that makes the difference. Yeah, and just finish it, please. And just finish <laughs> it, please. <laughs> 
So Mark, you don't seem as nervous as what David was, but you're up next. I am equally nervous, but David had the uh, trauma of going first. I know. Um, but I know a little bit what to expect, but I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So how are you feeling about this today? Well, I think we're, you know, excited and we're, we've put a lot into it. And um, my wife did say, whatever you do, don't look like a plonker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did she myself. say that? Yeah. You don't look like no. a plonker. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Will Mark's light be a shining beacon of inventiveness with our customers or just leave them in the dark? Mrs. Allen. Mr. Allen. It's like a watch box. Right in the middle. We've got a yellow box matching this. Lovely lady of mine. Oh my god, he paid me a compliment. <laughs> twit. 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 Oh, twitty. <laughs> Twisty. The torch with a twist. <gasps> it's got a charger over here, and I'm guessing that's a torch. Oopsie daisy. Put it on my wrist. Alright. Should I slap it on? Yeah, slap it on. Pow! I don't know why that makes me laugh yeah, so it's much. A nice yeah. it's like, yeah. Isn't it? It's a yeah. moment of fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this thing is bright. <laughs> okay. That can be twisted. To... Sorry, that's looking between the walls. I was done with that the other day because we had a power cut in the middle of the night. Which is what my mum used it for. Really? Oh, Did yeah. she? Yeah. And how old is your mum? Uh, older than me. It's very simple. This white circle in the middle is a button. You just press it and it goes on. Now, look how dark it is it's outside. It's pitch black. You can't see anything. I love how I get sent out for it. <laughs> Are we coming with me? Yeah, see how it is in the dark? Down. Does it light up in front of you well? Yeah, it does. That would be great to spot the potholes and things. Yeah. Oh, handy, actually. And you're not having to hold it. That's really good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's getting out of this weather. <laughs> Let's turn the light on. There we go. Hi! My neighbours probably think I'm batty. You're like a ghost. <laughs> no. Okay. So far's broken. What do you think? He's gonna walk around with his big thing. It's not big though. <laughs> it would be cool if it was like a clock in the middle as well. That would be really cool, yeah. So you could also move yeah, the time. Yeah, and then you'd be able to see the time as well. Nice and bright, can see all my medicines. It's on the wrist, so I've got my hands free. Can you see me? Ooh. <laughs> For fun and games on Halloween as well. Ooh, yeah, if you do Halloween. <laughs> For kids for sleepovers, midnight feasts, fun stuff at night yeah. for children, that would yeah. be great. More geared towards kids, I think. See, I disagree with you, Liam. I don't think it is. Us, we're always in and out of our loft, and I think that's brilliant, because if you don't have a light in your loft, you just put this on your wrist, you're not holding a torch. Normally, if you're taking a torch up in the loft, you have to hold it. This is strapped onto your wrist. I didn't realise it twists. <laughs> so. It twists, that's... Because it's called twisty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but isn't it strange, the simplest things that are obvious to me... Yeah, people are not. And you, yeah. Are you seeing that? Yeah. If you were in a caravan and yeah. you had to go through yeah. evolutions across the field. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's oh, a yeah. funny thing to think about, <laughs> given you've not got a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Get one, huh? It wouldn't be fair to compare it against a normal torch because no. it's not a normal torch, Hello. really. It's quite small. Hello. But for camping... Um, running, <laughs> the camping, Mommy, running, like walking the dog at night, all that sort of thing. If you're taking the kids to the park when it's dark, they can wear one of these so you know where they are. <laughs> now, that's so interesting, Mark. How are you feeling right now? Fantastic. Are I mean, you? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, the, they said everything I wanted them to say and gave me feedback to think about, OK, let's make it better. Mm. And I think that's what we've got to do as and inventors. And you've not been a plonker, so you tell no, that lovely no, wife no, of yours no, so how so well good. you've done yeah, today. You. And that's they all loved it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
Will Mark's invention outshine the competition once the customers discover the price? Right, so you're on £12.99 yeah. and I'm on £19.99. Drum roll, please. Why are you moving your head like that? £9.95. Oh! £9.95. I'll buy one of them. Oh, well done, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. It's all right for £10. That's really, really good. I would definitely buy these. I'd love to know what other colours were available. Do you like it? <laughs> you need to get yeah. these kids to model yeah, your product. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm happy for you because that went very well, didn't it? It did go really well. I mean, I can't ask for more than that. But, I mean, the packaging alone, the USB yeah. and the product, yeah. all for under a tenner. Yeah, so I've taken a long-term view and given a, a reduced retail price to get the product into the market and create some traction. Bet you're glad you came now, aren't you? I was happy and now I'm really happy. Oh, yeah. yes! Yeah. <laughs> We haven't seen Haley's product yet, uh, and David's was very good, but I think we're all winners. I think Mark got some fantastic feedback. Everybody got it, everybody understood it. Um, I think they needed maybe to look at it more as a safety product than a, a, a proper torch, but I think it, overall it was really good. I think it's hard to, to create innovation in an area like torches where you know there have been thousands of different designs, but it looks great coming out of the box, it's got a catchy name, um, it's got that snap factor. So I think he's, he's done really well in, in creating those, those points of difference and, and it's, it's attractive when you first look at it. Well, this really is going to be a tight competition today. Mark's Twisty also got some really good positive reviews there from our customers. They absolutely loved that snap band effect. But is it a bright enough invention to give Mark the win today? I'll give it a, a 10. Yeah. I mean, it's just robust. I can't, it is. I, I can't think of anything to knock it back no, on, I really. Can't. I know I can't. I, I, so, I give it a 10 too. Definitely, that's it. I'd give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I give it a six. You give it a six? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it about a six as well. Yeah? Yeah, we can agree on this one. That's a total score for Mark of 39 points out of 50. The scores have been totaled, and it's time for our entrepreneurs to find out which product won over our customers. On the scorecard today, in third place, with 33 and a half points, is Wolfpack. Congratulations, third's good. <laughs> In second place today, Bartoonies hey. with 34. Congratulations, which means the winner is today with 39 points, Twisty. Hey. Well done. Well Congratulations. done. Congratulations. Amazing, amazing. It was close. Jade gave Haley four points, placing her second with a score of 34 out of 50, making Mark today's winner with 39. Well, I haven't even done the best bit yet, which is hand you. The customer is always oh. right. Winner's trophy. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. I'm really, really pleased. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I think much. you need to go and phone your wife and just let her know I the have score evidence. here. You can I say, have I did Back good. in frames with, I'm yeah. not a plonker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, strong competition earlier in the day. We don't know if you're going to win or lose. I think we all won. Uh, but, you know, absolutely thrilled. Really valuable, really encouraging. We've seen some bits that are really great about the product, seen a couple of things that we need to work on, and overall I'm feeling really, really pleased, pleased with, uh, with where we are. I think the next step is to uh, maybe revisit the packaging from a couple of the comments that we had from the, the customers, and um, then just take it forward, take it to, to a wider market. Time for Mark to share the good news with his wife, Caroline. Hi, darling, it's me. Hi. Don't swear, you're on national television. Have I? Yeah, we've actually won. You have not? You have. What, the whole thing? Yeah, and I wasn't a plonker. Oh, <laughs> oh you clever lad. We'll have a celebratory sherry, I think. Okie dokie. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you. Bye, love you. <laughs> Bye. So Mark and his torch with a twist is today's winner. It was such a close competition, literally a few points in it. Great, innovative products all round, but Mark just pipped it at the end. Well done him.
thrilled to have won. Um, it's an amazing feeling and uh, we've just got to get the product out there now and uh, get it in people's hands.